Because the narrative of the European Union is uh, not about defeat, but about peace. Whereas I think defeat is very important. So what happened in May of 1945 to the Germans was not peace. What happened in May of 1945 to the Germans was defeat. A very broad coalition defeated the Germans, absolutely defeated them. Their leader committed suicide. Um, the, the surrender was absolute, and things changed. So I, when I, so when I think of the German peace movement, I would like for there, you know, what I would like is for there to be a German defeat movement, where Germans say it's very important for empires to be defeated like we were. Like that's the lesson I would like for them to learn from their history, because peace. I mean, we all want peace, but the question, the question is. How, do you, how does one get there in a world like the world that we live in? How do you get to peace? Peace is not the, obviously the same thing as surrender. Uh, and so sometimes peace means victory. <laughs> what Russia is doing, you know, Russia is, is, in my view, we can talk about this, but it's carrying out an imperial war. And when I said earlier that the only, the only way Russia can win is by losing, this is one of the things I have in mind, that the empire has to lose its last war. You, always, you have to lose your last war and you have to know that you've lost it before you try something else. And, and so for the, for the West Europeans, I, the, the, my answer to your question is, I don't think they realize that the European Union is about defeat. I don't think they realize that. And that's why I'm trying to make the point all the time to them. I think that I think the Germans in particular have to understand that they, they fought a colonial war and lost it, and that everything that they have now begins with that defeat, <laughs> with defeat precisely. And that therefore, and by the same token, we have to wish the Russians defeat. We have to even if even if we care about Russia, right? I realize that, you know, I understand I'm speaking now to Ukrainians, and this is not the first thing on your mind, but to all the Germans who care about Russia. If you care about Russia, you need this war to end quickly and with a clear Russian defeat, because that's the best, that's the best chance for Russians going forward. So uh, the, the, this war, you know, in a number of profound ways, this war has made you, Europeans return to the Second World War and return to their own myths of origin and hopefully confront them a little bit. Because it's like, this is one of the, like Ukraine, since 2014 at the latest, I mean, Ukraine has been a way of communicating, I think, the actual history of Europe. Because Ukrainians have understood, they have to, because of your position, they have to understand, okay, we, we're going to go from empire to integration. Like, that makes sense. We'll go from empire to integration. Integration helps us build our state. Our state has problems. Integration will help. And that is what happened to the Europeans too. That's what happened to the Spanish and the Portuguese and the Italians and the Poles. They had, they had one kind of imperial problem or another, and they solved their imperial problem by joining the European Union, right? And Ukrainians, I think, intuitively understand that that's the choice. Like, it's either, either one or the other. And Russians, by the way, also understand this in a different way. You know, Putin understands this, either integration or empire. And he's choosing, he's choosing empire. And so I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to get Europeans to understand that integration has to win. It goes back to the question, let me, your question about America. And I was trying to explain how we have a story about how freedom and democracy just happen. And the Europeans have a story about how integration just happens. But it doesn't just happen. It happens because people lose wars. It happens because of other dramatic things, which you then forget about later on.